Hello friends, I hope you're doing well today. It's April 7th today, and finally cherry blossom is fully blooming. So I went to the Shinjuku Central Park and I saw lots of people on the ground and enjoying the cherry blossoms. It's been a lot of chilly and kind of rainy days this, uh, this spring, but uh, finally there was some blue sky today. Today I'd like to go over about the cherry blossom thing a little bit, and also I'd like to go over these topics. End of this April, it will be exactly one year after all the restrictions about the border control was lifted. So the, all the number of the tourists are coming back to Japan and all the kind of price rates of related to kind of JR pass and everything has kind of settled. And just like any other part of the world, things price are going up, but all those things are sort of settled and there are no big, big kind of news that you have to worry about or you have to act quickly or something. So I'd like to go over these topics that are related to travelers who are visiting Japan soon. So when I made a video about cherry blossom, the forecast was saying it actually will be earlier than the last year, the 2023, but it turned out that it's 15 days later than last year, which is like a record late. Seven years ago, that the uh, last time cherry blossom became full bloom in April. Usually, it happens in late March. So I also went to Kyoto around 25th, thinking maybe a little bit early, but uh, I can see some early cherry blossoms when it was dead. There was nothing, and it was even raining. So, so if you are in Tokyo right now, you're very lucky. Usually, uh, cherry blossom is completely finished by now, and you see lots of greens instead of the pink. But now cherry blossom is fully blooming. And you might think that all the other areas, like Tohoku area, will be much later. But they are expecting it won't be that late, and it will be happening within April, and it even can be early. But again, the forecast was 15 days or more long this year, so I can't expect how it will be. At least like for Kaguchiko or Mount Fuji area, if you're coming after, you still can see the cherry blossom from now. It's, I think it's not open yet. Honestly, this year hasn't been really a great spring, like uh, for weather-wise. Even winter, I was going to film lots of snow footage in hot springs and uh, kind of local trains, but uh, I had to change the plan because the, there wasn't snow. Like even the local kind of mountain areas, senior people are saying like uh, they haven't seen this something like this, no snow. And it's actually very convenient for heavy snow area people, but actually something lacking the atmosphere of the winter of Japan. So I went to Sapporo in January and I could see the snow, but I turn, it turned out to be that the too much snowstorm and uh, things were closed, so I couldn't do much. But if you are interested in the Sapporo, please watch the Sapporo video too. And the second thing I'd like to go over is uh, Japanese yen is record cheap. One US dollar is about 152 yen, which is used to be 113 or something last year and this time. And we are saying, wow, yen is very cheap. To make it easier to understand for you, let's say for you to purchase a thousand yen Japanese yen cash, how much it cost. So a thousand yen is uh, about the cost that you can purchase uh, maybe ch very cheap dinner or kind of so-so lunch. Even without considering the Japanese yen cheap price, things are a little bit cheaper in Japan now because the things didn't raise that much. It did, but not that much. And uh, for example, if you go to the supermarket, you can buy the pet bottle drink for like um, 80 yen or something. So for a thousand yen, you can purchase like a 10 bottle of the oh, 10 bottle of the drinks. Also, the, if you go to McDonald's, the, let's say the Big Mac. Big Mac is, a, uh, I think it's a common all over the world. And uh, the price of the Big Mac set with Coke and French fries, medium size in Japan, is 830 yen. So the size might be a little bit smaller, but uh, with a so a thousand yen is a price you can purchase a set of the Big Mac and you get some change. So let's see Burger King. Burger King is also, the set is about 800, 890 yen. And if you get the application and get the coupon, actually you can get much cheaper for 730 yen or something. But let's say 890 yen, but still you get change if you have a thousand yen. So let's see how much it did cost for. So last year to get a thousand Japanese yen, you needed $7.60. But this year you only need $6.60. 
So you pay $6.60 cents and you can get the full size of the Whopper set of the Burger King and you still get the change. And so same for Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, Singapore dollars or British pound. It's all against all those currencies, Japanese yen is devaluated. So it's now much easier to come to Japan. So if you are planning to come to Japan this year, next year, it's your choice. Maybe you can change some cash to Japanese yen now and keep Japanese yen cash. Or it might get even cheaper. I hope not because I can never go to foreign country anymore. And the next topic is uh, Azabudai Hills. The, there's a team level borderless open in February in Azabudai Hills project. High-end building complex with some shopping streets. And mainly people talk about the team level borderless and also there's an observation deck on the third, third floor and it was free. But unfortunately, that observation deck is closing April 17th. So April 17th will be the last day that you can go up to the building. And after that, it, you cannot enter there anymore. It will be only for the tenants of the building or the office building and some people who use that restaurant. So basically, regular tourists or visitors cannot even take the elevator to go upstairs. So a nearby observation deck is Tokyo Tower and uh, Roppongi Hills Tokyo City View. And I think that sometimes I talked about Tokyo Roppongi Hills Sky Deck, but Sky Deck is, there are some accidents that's closed right now. So we don't know when it's going to open again. So Sky Deck was my favorite point because just like Sky, Shibuya Sky, you can go to the rooftop. And it was actually, to my personal opinion, it was much better view than Shibuya Sky. And Shibuya Sky is so busy, but this one is not. So it was my recommendation, but unfortunately, someone, so let's hope it will open again. Next topic is about illegal taxi. So illegal taxi is something I get questioned time to time. And as I'm asked, like, uh, they can pay. So either I can bring someone to drive someone to other places, or if I know someone who can drive. And in Japan, that is considered to be illegal. And recently, sometimes I see the news that uh, drivers are arrested. So travelers won't be arrested. So that is something kind of big thing that you don't have to worry about. But by you using the those services, that driver can be arrested because it's clearly illegal. And uh, how you can recognize this, the number plate of the car that uh, has a license is green. So it's a dark green plate with white letters. And a regular car in Japan has a white plate and green letters. When you try to get on the car and the number plate is white, that it might be illegal. So recently it became the news is uh, so Taiwan's group booked a driver service on the kind of a travel agency site in Taiwan and driver drove them from Hakone's hotel to Haneda Airport and they paid like 40,000 for the whole group. And it sounds very convenient. He was stopped by police at Haneda Airport and it became news because he escaped just leaving his driver's license out. And he was found when he went to the police office to issue the new driver's license. And uh, in the night airport, I was talked by Canadian traveler that he cannot find this guy that have a driver's service. And uh, I didn't, wasn't thinking anything and I took him to the place that the driver was waiting, but somehow the driver guy kind of <laughs> hid from me, finding that I'm Japanese. So, uh, and then I realized, oh, that's true, like maybe this is something, you know, not approved by, or getting licensed. And I, of course, I pretended didn't see anything. In YouTube, is something everyone, many different kind of people see, and it really depends on your kind of understanding and perception. But I have to say that uh, it is illegal activities and you might want to uh, use a uh, regular licensed service, which can be very expensive in Japan. That's why I usually only talk about public transportation. And also the Japanese government is working on improving the situation and they might move to approve like a Uber or Grab or kind of ride share service. But at this point, we don't know how it will turn out how that turn out and what kind of system or regulation it will be. When there's an update, I'd like to talk about it in this channel too.
And something important for the April update is end of this month is the start of the Golden Week. And Golden Week is a Japanese long holiday that are continuing to early May. And it's a good season to travel, so many, many people travel. Something very important that the JR Central issued this year is for the first time, there won't be any non reserved seat on Nozomi train. Nozomi is one of the service on Tokaido Shinkansen connecting from Tokyo to Kyoto and further. There are three types Nozomi, Hikari, Kodama, and、uh, the fastest one, Nozomi, is the most frequently landing one. So, most Japanese people take it unless you really want to slow travel. So, that one is, have, won't be, have the non reserved seat. So, that one won't have non reserved seat. So, you have to make a reservation from April 26th to May 6th. There won't be any non reserved seat, and all seats is for. Reservation only for Nozomi service of Tokaido Shinkansen. There's no change for other Shinkansen service. If you see the reservation situation, so today is、uh, April 7th, so you already can see up to May 7th, which is one month later. For the beginning of the Golden Week and end of the Golden Week, the Shinkansen tends to be very busy and you rarely can find the seats in morning slot. When you find one seat, it can be kind of middle seat. That So, usually you might want to avoid. So, if you see the middle days of the Golden Week, actually, you see lots of empty seats. Actually, it looks less busy than regular time because there's no business moving that time. When you are in Tokyo, it might be actually not a bad season to travel around because things are not busy because people are out of Tokyo. Of course, lots of people come to Tokyo too, but.、Uh, Office area, there are no people walking, so some businesses in the office area might be closing, but you can travel in the less crowded area. But if you go to like a theme park or tourist spot, you might want to be ready for the busy time. And、uh, I checked the Tokyo Disney Resort, and for Disneyland, April 27th to May 4th, most of the days are set as the most expensive date, which means they're expecting lots of customers. And for Universal Studios, April 29th, May 3rd, and 4th are set as a peak season. So, recently I went to Universal Studio in Osaka by myself and、uh, made a video about the、uh, Universal Studio. So, something I was curious was Universal Studio is full with、uh, one star and five star, one star and five star of the debut. And、uh, what is this difference? And、uh, it's not necessarily they like the character of the Universal Studio or something, it's more about if they knew something about it or not. So, So, I was kind of feeling intimidated to make a buy, but、uh, thanks to that,、like, uh, by coincidence, there was a kind of sponsor thing from the crook, so I could make the video. So, even if you purchase from where, from the crook or any other site, official site, for the same price, actually, you can purchase a ticket and、uh, you can still use the, all the kind of tips I made in the video. And I think this will be a very kind of good video to watch before you go. So, if you have time or if you are visiting the Universal Studio, please. Consider watching that video too. And something recently you see a lot on the news is the、uh, over tourism of Kyoto. And you might have heard the news that、uh, in the, some streets in Gion districts are closing. And let me go over a little bit about it. I was wondering because they are making so many hotels, and、uh, some lots of news are saying like、uh, too many tourists, and lots of kind of some negative news, and new opening news, and what's going on. And、uh, because as a tourist, I'm also. Visitor from Tokyo, so I feel like I'm not welcomed by Kyoto, right? So, and of course, the whole industry of tourism is want more tourists and want tourists just like now. And,、uh, but I did see some posters like a warning. Before, I was thinking t h e s e a little too many warning signs and kind of a little too much, but unfortunately, with my eyes, I saw some kind of difficult cases that in Kyoto, someone Touched to the two lady of the kimono that to, on the shoulder like this. And I was very surprised, but she, he wanted to take their picture of the two Japanese ladies wearing kimono.、Uh, and、uh, those ladies look e d very kind of surprised and kind of looks a little bit embarrassed, but、uh, they're very nice. So kind of try to smile and、uh, just standing in front of the camera. But the worst was、uh, that tourist person suddenly just left without even s a y thank you. Someone who is watching this channel or trying to watch this video like this is never a tourist like that. And, but there are a really, really small amount of the travelers like that.、So、because of that, the 
restriction and lots of warnings that keep increasing. And something happened in Gyoin's probably because of that. And originally, the all passes were open. Some places had no pictures or no photography, but you could just walk around anywhere in Kyoto. But、uh, those are private paths. There's a regular public street and some private path. That the private path is something can local community、uh, paying kind of yearly fee and maintaining the street. So we see in Tokyo too, in kind of residential area, but those passes are kind of they have a right to close. What I saw in the news is they really didn't want to do this because you know, they want to open for tourists and everyone, but、uh, because of the, some、uh, activities, maybe they had to close. And from this month, April, they start to close the little pass in Gion district little by little. So it's going to increase little by little to different areas. Maybe you have to give up, try not to o b s e s s e d with following kind of Maiko san, or those kind of. Ladies wearing kimono. Because there are lots of other things to see in Kyoto. Again, I know, I know again, I don't want to talk about it so much because anyone who w a t c h my channel is not like that, probably, hopefully. So I'm not making this video to warn you, but just that is the situation. So I don't want you to feel intimidated or not welcomed by Kyoto or Japan. For example, I went to、um, kind of, there's a little street called Pontocho near Gate Hotel I stayed. And,、uh, There, there's a little kind of takoyaki shop, and I want to film that how you can make takoyaki. And that store was a self made takoyaki, that, and the store person really tried to help me. So the store person, very nice, they tried to involve all the kind of tourists from <laughs> different countries, show them the, how I make takoyaki. So it was actually a really fun moment for in Kyoto, basically very nice, and they really trying to help you.、Uh, you don't have to feel like you are not welcome or something. So that's what I want to say. And uh, uh, of course, Kyoto is a big city, so there are lots of different k i n d of people, but basically, there are lots of lots of nice people in Kyoto. You don't have to feel intimidated about going to Kyoto. The Japanese government wants to bring people to other parts of Japan. So that's something also good to consider if you have been to Kyoto or if you like more smaller places. But then, should you avoid Kyoto because of that? is... But nowhere is like Kyoto, so it's difficult to say go somewhere else instead of Kyoto. Something I myself faced as a travel is I couldn't find a coin locker for the suitcase. And when I leave for Tokyo, I wanted to walk around a little bit around Kyoto Station, so I was looking for the coin locker to store my suitcase. And there are so many, so many coin lockers in the Hachijo exit, which is in the south side of Kyoto Station. And everyone is strolling, kind of stranded, kind of with big suitcases, don't know what to do. There was a kind of little kind of cloak, and you can either storage luggage or ship luggage there. But、uh, there's a long line, and the person, the office person, immediately puts kind of no more luggage sign. It might be very important to plan your luggage. Either bring to your hotel first and start sightseeing after that, or Maybe send from the previous hotel in other location to the hotel in Kyoto previous night. Or you can also choose a hotel that has a delivery service to the hotel. Handling luggage, I talked about several times, but it's a very important topic. So I'd like to go over once again with kind of this month or next month video. And something you might have noticed is this one the Christian from Australia drew this cute illustration for me. And thank you so much. So, I was a little sick that time, and、uh, he didn't know that, but he sent me this. So, I used to wear the kind of Kariushi, kind of Okinawa's clothes, looks like a Aloha, and talk with、uh, Park. So, he wrote this、uh, illustration. Thank you so much. So, I'm really happy and、uh, proud to have this. And let me see if I can make the same form now. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. And、uh, Christian also made an emoji for my channel membership. Christian kindly offered to make an emoji too. So I asked something. He's from Australia's Queensland. So、uh, let's mix something kind of Australia and Japan mix. And he made this one, Pug doing surfing. <laughs> It's so cute and、uh, so amazing. And、uh, thank you so much. So, And he also made this one mix of the pug and、uh, Manekineko, which is inviting cat like a 
inviting the fortune to your room, or it's a maneki pagu, like in a, you can use other emoji. Thank you so much again, Kristam. And maybe eventually I'll try to use it in other places too. So I'm really appreciating this situation that I have the YouTube channel because two years ago, three years ago, I couldn't imagine I have a YouTube channel and I can interact with people like this. I'm trying to do every new thing related to YouTube. So uh, membership was one of the things that I kind of made it. And uh, I haven't talked about it, but uh, thank you for everyone who joined the membership. And I also tried a live stream that is from Sapporo. And I did two live streams. I know it was a little disaster in the snowstorm, but um, and it was a great experience. So maybe I'd like to try some more live stream in the future. And maybe May update, I can do live from here. And also something I tried is a sponsorship video. And you might have different opinions, but uh, it was a really great experience to do. And uh, as an experience, I wanted to know how it works and it was really learning. And of course, oh, everyone on the Kuruk North America was very nice and uh, I appreciate everyone who watched the video and some people even kind of cheered me up to congratulate on the sponsorship. And uh, I try to be careful. I don't introduce anything unbeneficial to viewers, like, you know, something really expensive for no reason. But I like to keep trying new things if there's opportunities. Uh, and I also went to the JR West project to Izmo in Sain region. And there's a new train actually debuted yesterday, uh, April 6th, and this is a new train connecting Okayama and Izumo, and it's uh, I got an opportunity that I can film there and uh, I can interview to the JR West person, and uh, it was a really, really great experience. It was so far away. It was a uh, very really interesting experience. Like I saw like uh, some Japanese YouTubers, it's, some of them are very famous. I usually don't watch YouTube so much, but uh, even I knew some of the kind of train YouTuber, so it was really great to see how they are filming, actually. And uh, it was really motivating because everyone is so serious. There is a reason those channels are so big. And finally, I said uh, about uh, my pug, Kenny. I said I might post about him traveling, but uh, I got a sick end of the December and I couldn't take him out. So, but there is a hotel that uh, I canceled on that morning, but uh, they said they don't need a cancellation fee because I know how hard my health situation is. So it was a very nice hotel and I'd like to go back to that hotel. So I'd like to finally go back there in April or May. So finally for my Pug fans, I can show you more of the Kenny. So that was April update and thank you so much for watching. For me, speaking English is so difficult and this is like a fifth take of the from yesterday. and. <laughs> It's sun finally probably this one will be okay. Then sun is setting, so sorry that it's getting a little bit dark. Um, um thank you for watching. Have a great trip to Japan. Have a great week until the next video.